I was asked to do a little bit of a repair to a mast from a customer of mine. Now this mast is from uh, Slow Loris. Slow Loris is the boat that I built the uh, PT-11 uh, take apart dinghy for. So they got a bit of a problem with some rot in the bottom of the mast uh, when they took it out to do some uh, minor painting, whatever, and uh, we're going to just fix that. On the base of the mast, this little block here is not actually part of the mast. It looks to be a piece of wood that's been glued onto the bottom of the mast to sit in the mast step because the grain of this piece doesn't match. Now once I've cut off the bottom of the mast, it was pretty wet in there. As you can see on my moisture meter, it is off the charts about 40%. Now I have let it dry out for a couple of days and there was a really some really hot days in here but I thought that if I pre-drill a hole out where, in which I'm going to insert another block it'll dry out faster. You can see from the shavings here they actually are pretty wet and when I put my moisture meter deep inside it's still up at 40 percent whereas the sort of the rest of it is maybe around 20 percent. When I originally cut off the base, I didn't really take much care in cutting it off accurately at all. I just wanted to see how far I needed to go to find some solid wood. So now I'm just going to uh, trim it off properly so that the base is uh, square to the to vertical. And by doing that, I just wrap a piece of paper around with a clean edge and trace it and then cut it off. Now I wish I had probably uh, Maybe cut a little bit more off on this go round because when using the saw it was difficult to try and trim just this tiny little eighth of an inch off. You can still see there's a little bit of punky wood in there. My objective here is just to repair it enough that they can get a few more years out of it. I do believe they understand that they probably will need to replace this years down the road. So as you can see the base is still pretty wet. But with the hole opening and some good sunny days, I just moved on to chiseling out another section. So this is where the wiring came out for some high beam visibility lights on the mast. Water got in and that's all rotting or loose or soft or punky down where the spline has gone in the full length of the mast. Now in a perfect world, it would have been a lot easier Without the wiring inside the mast, I would have just made myself a jig, slid my router along there and routed a nice perfect slot in there, but I couldn't really do that for fear of cutting the wiring that's going up to the head of the mast. The mast is made from either cedar or Sitka, or Sitka spruce or uh, maybe a piece of just regular fir. I am inserting some solid white oak blocks in here, good and solid, good and hard. Not so necessarily because I thought that I really needed that dense of wood, but that's just what I had on hand to repair. So the piece is fit, just uh, soaking in a heck of a lot of epoxy. The wood is just soaking it up like a sponge. And then I thicken up the rest of it and slathered a whole bunch in there to fill the gaps before inserting the uh, white oak pieces. The wiring to the midsection of the mast for the uh, visibility lights, they are actually just going to run wire up the exterior of the mast to do that.
Here I'm inserting a very large piece of white oak block into the bottom, lots of thickened epoxy. Now when that was set up, I was able to just uh, sand down with my belt sander these little blocks that I put in. And then I just took the belt out of the belt sander, cut it, and I'm just using it to tear down the patches. The square block on the bottom is about half an inch thick. So here I'm just going to trim it off with my pull saw, remove the tape. And so to, just to prevent any more water from soaking into the mast, I'm going to slap on some epoxy and it really soaks it up and I am putting on a couple of coats of just some base primer for transportation as I do believe the owners plan to uh, sand the whole mast and repaint it and reinstall. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.